simple, relaxed evening here in our home. I'm going to be sharing with you today what an evening looks like for this stay-at-home homeschooling mom of three boys who also happens to work from home. This is just one evening in our life. Not every night looks this way. Not every evening is this put together, if you will. There are so many nights that are chaotic and just insane and many, many mornings that I wake up with a sink full of dishes. But I want you to know that this is one thing that I try to do on a daily basis in the evening before we put our kids down for bed. I try to get the kitchen clean, get the dishes done, have leftovers for my husband for his lunch for the next day, to just have the house clean, to wake up to that clean feeling just really gets our homeschool day off to a good start. If I'm having to wake up and have a list full of chores ahead of me, it can make things a little more stressful. So again, I am not perfect. Obviously, this is one night. But I have loved that in our home, we have sort of fallen into just a simple evening routine. This consists of me cleaning up the kitchen or the boys cleaning up the kitchen, whoever it happens to be for that day, so that the sink is empty, the dishes in the dishwasher get ran, so that we wake up tomorrow morning to a dishwasher full of clean dishes, we wake up to a living room that is somewhat put together, a kitchen table that is ready for us to get going on homeschool. I find that with this simple routine, it just makes things flow more smoothly in the morning. Let me know if you are with me on this. Let me know if you feel me on this in the comment section down below. Show me what it's like to be circling among the clouds Because without you by my side I would be stuck here on the ground You're lighting up the way I can see the road ahead of me I won't be stumbling in the dark Your eyes are shining like the stars I was down Until you saved me Until you set me free My eyes were closed Now I see clear as day And I just wanted to say That you can take me high Feels like I can fly Now that I have cleaned my kitchen, I'm going to move to our living spaces and I'm just gonna get things put away. So there are things throughout the day, nothing is crazy messy here, but there are just things throughout the day that we've left out that we haven't picked up. So as I'm going through cleaning the house um, before the kids go to bed, before I go to bed, um, I'm just gonna pick up some of this stuff, let the boys pick up their shoes, pick up their random pieces of clothing, just get things kind of neat and tidy in all of the living areas so that we're not tripping over shoes, tripping over clothes. The simple step of just picking up things before we go to bed so that when we wake up in the morning, we don't have chaos everywhere. It's a super, super simple step that does not take any extra time at all out of your day. The only exception to the shoes being put away are my shoes right here. Because I work out early in the morning, I leave them in the kitchen so that they're quick and easy to find when the house is still dark and makes things simple for me. So now, while everyone's still working on projects, I'm going to take a few moments to plan out content here on my channel to get back to some comments and different things like that in some free time while the boys continue to repair some fork seals, I think is what they were doing, for my son's motorcycle. So they're having guy time. Mom's having just kind of some relaxing time to herself right now, which doesn't usually happen in the evening. But tonight, I definitely, definitely got to soak up some quality time. My boys did boy things. The next step in my nighttime routine is to empty the dryer. There's almost always something either in the washing machine or in the dryer. And now because my boys have chores, when they wake tomorrow, one of their chores is to put their laundry away. So I find that if I have everything folded and ready to go, when they come to get their laundry in the morning, their chore is obviously going to get done and be complete instead of stuff getting left behind. Now, my favorite part of my evening routine that I am horrible at, guys, I am not the best at washing my face every night, but I'm trying to be so much better. This is when I know it's getting close to bedtime. Time to wash the face, time to put on some moisturizer. 
time to brush my teeth, get the boys all ready for bed, get them tucked in bed, say our bedtime prayers, all of the things, and then time for me to climb in my bed. snuggle bug that seemed to find his way in my bed. <laughs> it is 924. I have been awake since 520 this morning. So it's time to call it a night. A simple evening routine, nighttime routine. There you have it. This is what things look like on this specific night in our home. As with anything I share here, every single day is different. Every single night bring something totally different we didn't have any plans tonight we didn't need to be anywhere so it was very relaxed very productive just present night in our home now that everyone's tucked in bed I'm going to climb in my bed and watch The Chosen The Chosen is a series that I have loved so much if you are just looking for more goodness um, the Bible in story, not story form, I don't want to say story form, but I have fallen in love with The Chosen. I will leave it linked in the description box down below for you to check out in case you are interested in looking for something, if you're looking for something more. I love it so much. We've gone all the way through season one. I'm on the third episode of season three from The Chosen. Now I know they mentioned they're not gonna be on YouTube any longer, so you can find their episodes in The Chosen app. You can watch them for free in The Chosen app. On YouTube specifically for any episodes past episode three from season two, you will not be able to find it on YouTube. So I will leave it linked down below what I can go check it out if you are looking for something more, if you are wanting more just to, to study and to learn from and to watch play out. Like, there are no words to describe how The Chosen has touched my heart. This is where this video will end. Thank you for joining me today to see a glimpse inside my evening routine as a stay-at-home homeschooling mom. I will see you in our next upload. Bye.